what about you know there's there's so much like you said because of we have a unique thing in the u.s with the pay to play um and i think there are some of the smaller clubs that um are not maybe affiliated with a professional team and they're they have to set up that pay to play to financially support a professional coach coming in instead of a volunteer parent. Um, this landscape that we have set up right here, um, because say how every parent is paying and they feel there's an entitlement to playing time, to certain things. It takes away from, and you know it too, Antel, in development, it takes time. It takes time teaching. Everybody's got to trust the process. It might not look pretty at the beginning uh, as the kids are getting started. Um, what is it that approaches you've done in Holland or in Europe that is still not here yet and we want to kind of get it there so it allows um, the development to occur organically within the players more? Yeah, it's difficult to compare. Uh, I can only compare the U.S. With, with the Netherlands because I live there and I work there, so I know how it exactly runs there. I cannot speak for other countries. Um, but the main difference between the Netherlands and the U.S. is that coaches in the Netherlands don't coach for a living. Mm. They have a job and they coach on the side. Um, and that means that um, they only coach maybe two or three times a week in the evenings and they only have one team. That's it. Uh, the benefit of that is that you can give all the players all the attention they need. Um, and we're, we're, we're not coaching to make a living out of it. We coach because we really like to coach and we also have another job that provides us an income so we can do this on the side um, a lot of people in the US actually coach for a living which is a good thing because you know it provides money for you and your family so that's a good thing but to maintain a certain uh, amount you know to, to earn a certain living uh, a lot of coaches coach a lot of different teams uh, on the courses I run the last couple of years, I had coaches who coached four or five teams. For me, that is difficult to understand because how can you coach four or five teams and actually develop those individual players within the team if you have, what is it, 80 to 100 players you need to take care of? At some point, you get brain dead, I would say, because it's, it's so time-consuming. It costs a lot of energy. And at the end, it, it's, it, it hurts the quality of what you do as a coach. You, you cannot perform at your best for back-to-back -back sessions every night. It's just impossible to do, let alone coach a lot of teams during uh, game day, right? So if, if I had coached one game on Saturday, I was exhausted. You know, I was mentally drained based on all the things I've seen and, uh, and, and the things I did with my players. So if, if that's something we could fix in, in this country, I would say that would benefit the development of players as well. And, and I'm not denying people to have a job, of course. Um, but can we create other constructions that it's not just, hey, you coach four or five teams or three or four or five teams, but you do other things within the club and you get paid for that as well. Um, in the Netherlands, only a very small percentage of coaches actually make a living out of coaches, out coaching. I worked at a professional club and I had a very low income because there's just not a lot of money in the youth game in the Netherlands. So uh, we see it as something we really love to do. Um, but I had multiple roles within that club that provided me a certain income. Uh, so perhaps clubs can think about it as well instead of hiring a coach who's coach uh, coaches four or five teams, maybe that coach will coach two teams, but is also uh, responsible for uh, the development of the coaches in a certain age group, or is also responsible for uh, creating a certain curriculum for an age group, whatever it is. So you give them other tasks that they can actually perform during the day when they don't have to be on the field, uh, and then they only coach maybe two teams, uh, so you can actually work with those teams and develop them to the full uh, potential.